Will Mr. Marsden please come up here? David Marsden. A special moment in the evening came when Dave Marsden, the man responsible for the UNOs and the creative force behind the success of CFNY, took the stage to accept an unprecedented award from his peers. The Rock and Rebel. Okay, let me just let me just present the award now. The award is to a uh, communicator extraordinaire. It's presented on behalf of all the major labels in the country and the independent labels that they distribute. Uh, the inscription is presented to David Marsden in recognition of 25 years of total support of the Canadian recording industry through truly innovative broadcasting. Dave, this whole thing started four years ago, the You Know Awards. That's right. What was your vision at the very beginning? Oh, uh, absolutely nothing, really, other than to uh, present an award show that would highlight and spotlight the artists who not necessarily are being noticed uh, at the, what do I call it, the mainstream level. Uh, also to use the awards to suggest to the artist that the audience was standing up and applauding them. And that's really what it is, because it's a people's choice ballot. It's a vote, and that's applause. So that was it. I never anticipated that the UNO Award would become uh, something where several thousand people would want to come. Dave, I've read that as operational and program director of CFNY, you want to create three-dimensional radio. <laughs> what does that well, mean? Well, I have this theory about uh, three-dimensional radio. The first dimension is simply the loudspeaker. That's what most radio stations sound like. It comes out of the speaker, falls on the table, and it doesn't do anything else. Two-dimensional radio comes out of the speaker and causes you to react. It makes you pick up the telephone to win a contest. Hello, have I won? or it makes you pick up the telephone to take a request or send in a dedication. That's, I call that two-dimensional radio. Three-dimensional radio, to me, is what CFNY is. It does the first two, but if you allow it to, and most people do, it will affect an emotion. It will touch a sense in you. It may make you laugh, it may make you cry, and it may make you angry, or it may make you sad. Do you feel responsible for the emotions you might be tapping out there? Well, it's, you know, it's up to the listener, isn't it? You're trying to inspire communication. I'd like to see people trusting each other again, and I'd like to see people talking to each other again. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. You know that I love radio, and I love people who listen to it, and I love everybody out there. Thank you. And thank you, you little... <laughs>